We first came to Costa Mesa in 1956 because I had a job at Orange Coast College. Two basic courses, California history and U.S. history. Teaching in Orange Coast College was great. Uh, the students were always polite and wonderful. And teaching California history, it was very evident that water was a central part of California's development. So in 1960, when a vote came to consolidate four small, separate water districts, I jumped in to support that. During that period, I was president twice, the most important being in 1984 for the development of wells, reservoirs, and eventually the colored water treatment plant. That moved us to self-reliance with local water. We were able also to bring reclaimed water. Mesa Water has a program called the Water Issues Study Group. In those 26 years, I opened the Water Issues Study Group program every January with a history of California water. When the opportunity for the creation of a historical society occurred, I volunteered in 1966. For 10 years, I wrote the Historical Society Quarterly, which was a recount of past events in the development of the early history of Costa Mesa. With the help of a bunch of other wonderful people, we put together an organization called the Orange Coast Civic Association. And our goal was the unification of Newport Beach Elementary, Costa Mesa Elementary, and the Newport Harbor Union High School District. I spoke to two members of the board, said, why are you doing this? It's for the improvement of our students. And so it was more efficient than three separate districts. The reason I got involved with the chamber is because the Mesa Water Board was a member of the chamber and there was a need on their education committee to have a teacher. And so I was able to help the chamber education committee and recommended that they have an outstanding student awards program. And because of Les Miller was chair of that committee, but also the first principal of Costa Mesa High School, the name was changed to the Les Miller Outstanding Student Awards. In 1999, the policy of the state changed that a student was going to have to meet all the steps to graduate or to move from grade seven to grade eight. And so the church and the YMCA got together and we created Youth Achievers. And oh, the excitement of these students, they were given a second chance to catch up on their studies rather than being held back until they met the requirements. It was young people with computers and cell phones. They were way ahead of me. And that led to the publication of my first book, The Cimmerian Chapter, a world that is totally run by computers. The two ports of the storm just came out of a curiosity. What would happen if a couple got trapped in a biosphere? When you have a civic group that does so much for its individuals, Sometimes you got to stop and say thank you, and, and so I was always glad to participate where I could. And I think we have to recognize the wonderful things that we have.